हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल नंबर सिक्स टैक्योमेट्री सर्वे क्लियर सो हियर इन दिस सर्वेइंग वी जनरली यूज द मैथमेटिकल स्टेप फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट स्टेशन टू एनी ऑब्जेक्ट और पॉइंट और स्टाफ so let's we start uh, with the chapter by introduction so here tachometry is the branch of the surveying in which the horizontal distance between the instrument station and staff station and also vertical distance of a points are determined so exactly you seen in a figure in a first slide figure you exactly seen that uh, we find out the horizontal distance this distance horizontal distance d and also find out the vertical distance of any object is uh, known as a uh, tachometry uh, surveying so now chaining operation is completely eliminated in this method so here we use the measuring tape for a small measurement but uh, in a chaining uh, chaining is not required for finding out the horizontal distance between the two point so here uh, this method is less accurate as compared to chaining operation like uh, because here if we measure if we make a small mistake to measuring the horizontal angle or vertical angle in a uh, measuring the vertical angle so it make a big mistake in a me measurement of the horizontal distance as well as in a vertical distance now next uh, point we discuss about in a tachometry survey is a use of tachometry so here we use the tachometry when the obstacle like a steps broken uh, broken ground or a stretch of water so this type of the surveying we generally use for finding out the horizontal distance and uh, in a rough country both horizontal and distance uh, horizontal and vertical distance measurement are tedious and uh, chaining is inaccurate difficult and slow so at that time we use the tachometry survey for finding out the horizontal as well as vertical distance and uh, this method is generally used for uh, contouring work so all of you know about the contour so contour is a imaginary line passing from the different point at a same level and uh, we measure the uh, different points uh, of a vertical distance we measure easily so this method tachometry method is used now next is the purpose of the tachometry so here uh, we prepare contour map so all of you know about the contour uh, then after second is the use of the hydrographic survey Uh, then after location uh, survey for road road railway reservoir etc and checking of the distance which measured with the help of the tap so like uh, if we cross verify any points measurement so we easily uh, apply the tachometry survey to measure the horizontal distance between the uh, tap and uh, next is uh, to measure the horizontal distance at which distance measured by tap or chain is uh, difficult or impossible so at that time we measure the horizontal distance by using the tachometry next principle of the tachometry is uh, the principle of tachometry is based on the property of isoscale triangle so what is isoscale triangle so we discuss in a uh, next slide so statement in isoscale triangle the ratio of the perpendicular from the vertex on that base is the main statement of the isoscale now see this figure in this figure there are uh, triangle is a p q and r so this one is a first triangle then after another triangle is a p q dash r dash is a second triangle and third triangle is a p q double dash r double dash this one is a large one third triangle so in isoscale triangle whose base are q r q s r s and q double dash r dash and their vertex is a p and here p o p o double dash and uh, sorry p o dash and p o double dash 
are a vertex uh, line of the points now here we apply the uh, triangulation formula isoscale triangle so po divided by qr is equal to po dash divided by q dash r dash and uh, third uh, vertex is a po double dash divided by q double dash r double dash so is equal to constant k so this value is a constant value is equal to 2 quart alpha by 2 so here alpha by 2 is a half of the entire angle half angle is alpha by 2 so total angle is alpha and half angle is alpha by 2 so here constant k we take a f upon i now uh, second uh, topic we start is the uh, instrument use in a tachometry survey so there are main two instrument is used first is a tachometer and second is a leveling staff so here what is tachometer so tachometer is usually transit theodolite one type of the theodolite uh, using the stadia diaphragm and uh, the dia uh, diaphragm is uh, equipped with two horizontal hair is called a cross hair or a stadia hair in addition to regular cross section hair now the additional hair are equidistance from the central so here equidistance means here top and bottom both the hair are in a equal distance now diaphragm commonly used in a second slide so here different types of the dia uh, diaphragm is there so here different crosshair is there first one is a central crosshair these two are the target and the upper and bottom these two are the main crosshair similarly here top and bottom and central crosshair is here here central crosshair top and bottom similarly here only central crosshair is given here in this diaphragm uh, center top bottom and side two crosshair is given similarly in this uh, diaphragm uh, center crosshair then after top and bottom both the crosshair is given now second instrument we use in a tachymetry survey is a leveling staff or a stadia road so both are uh, used for the uh, leveling purpose so here stadia road or a staff is used for the tachymetry uh, usually in a leveling staff having a list count is a 0 0.005 meter means list count is a 5 mm is a list count of a stadia road or a staff and the stadia road is generally in a one piece but is easy to transport and it may be folding so here stadia road is a simple and uh, staff is also simple it's easily foldable now width of the staff is generally 5 cm to 15 cm and uh, height may be 3 to 5 meter generally we use the 4 meter staff in a tachymetry survey now it is graduated in a meter centimeter and uh, marking by the black and white strip and uh, the graduation must be simple and clear so here in a uh, each and every meter in a large font size uh, 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter etc is uh, written and uh, here black and white strip is uh, indicate the half centimeter means 5 mm uh, one strip is uh, black and one strip is white uh, it's a uh, 5 mm thick strip is provided in a leveling staff now next is a method of tachymeter so there are main two methods of the tachymeter first is a stadia method and uh, second is a tangential method so here gen we use generally stadia method in a uh, routine work like a stadia method is also divided into two part first one is a fixer method and a second is a movable hair method so here stadia method we start in this method a tachometer is set up at a instrument station p so see this figure so in this figure we set up the instrument at a p point and then after uh, we set up the instrument and uh, leveling centering focusing etc is done very well then after on a, another station q point at a q point staff is held so it's a horizontal distance d here pq show the horizontal distance d 
then after in a stadia method there are the three cross hair is there uh, top hair or upper hair central hair and bottom hair so also call a top center and bottom or a lower cross hair and uh, imaginary line is uh, see this uh, line line uh, dotted line so the line of uh, sight of a horizontal line of sight is seen by the dotted line and here from the horizontal line of sight means uh, this dotted line to center uh, hair reading angle is taken is a vertical angle is theta now the staff intercept is a upper end uh, upper stadia hair and lower stadia hair is measured so what is staff intercept so is a difference between the upper cross hair and lower cross hair is a staff intercept and here vertical angle is theta is also measured so this angle is measured with respect to horizontal line of sight see this figure uh, this angle is measured with respect to horizontal line of sight to uh, central hair reading so vertical and uh, horizontal distance d is a horizontal distance d between the instrument station p to staff station so this distance is a horizontal distance d and uh, this distance and also difference of elevation p q is calculated by using the staff intercept and uh, vertical angle theta by using the formula so what is staff intercept so see this uh, staff intercept is a difference between the lower and upper reading upper and lower cross hair reading difference is known as a staff intercept now uh, second method is a fixer method so in a fixer method the upper and lower stadia hair is a fix so see this uh, main difference is a uh, stadia hair is fixed then after the distance between the upper stadia hair and uh, lower stadia hair is known as a stadia interval i so here upper and lower cross hair is fixed so distance between the fixed uh, uh, distance is known as a i and uh, value of the staff interval s is vary with uh, respect to distance so if the distance is increased uh, distance is increased so staff intercept is increased and uh, value i is uh, fixed and generally stadia method is a miss fixer method now next is a movable hair method so here what is difference is in a movable hair method so stadia hair i is not a fix so i is movable upper and lower cross hair is a move uh, move easily and uh, stadia hair can be move and or adjust by the mic micrometer screw and uh, in this method staff intercept is fixed and uh, i is changed and in a fixer method i is fixed and uh, staff intercept s is changed now the stadia interval measure corresponding to sta uh, staff intercept now here this difference is asked in a gtu examination in a uh, four marks like a difference between the fixer method and uh, movable hair method so here fixer method stadia interval i is fixed so it's a easily easy trick uh, fixer method i is fixed and in a movable hair method i is not a fix then after staff intercept s is not a fix in a fixer method and uh, in a movable hair method staff intercept s is fixed now fixer method is most commonly used to take the staff reading speedy and uh, in a movable hair method the method is not generally used because unconvenient measurement of the star, uh, stadia interval accurately because and each and every time we adjust the uh, stadia interval and then after tachometry and staff are used in a fixer method and uh, in a movable hair method substance theodolite and staff are used so these are the main difference of the uh, fixer method and movable hair method now next is a uh, tangential method so in this method diaphragm of tachometer is not provided with the stadia hair and uh, reading were taken sent taken by the centrally horizontal hair only single hair is provided upper and bottom hair is the 
not provided and uh, the stop with uh, two target at a fixed distance s is used for taking the reading and here in a tangential method two angle we measure for a theta 1 for upper crosshair and a theta 2 for a lower crosshair and the vertical angle and the fixed distance s is used to determine the horizontal distance so here in a, a next to next slide we discuss about the tangential method formulas and uh, difference between the study hair method and tangential hair method is also asked in a gtu uh, for uh, uh, in a four marks so study hair method diaphragm of uh, tachometer is provided with a uh, three study hair and in a tangential method diaphragm of the tachometer is not provided with study hair and uh, looking through the telescope the three study hair reading are taken and uh, the reading are taken by the single horizontal hair at just upper and lower target respectively so in a tangential method upper and lower cross hair we fix and then after in a study hair method one vertical angle is observed and in a tangential method two vertical angle is measured or observed and uh, study hair method this is most suitable commonly used method and uh, tangential method is not used in a common practice because it's a tedious and a difficult method now uh, next we discuss about the fixer method so here fixer method divide into another three cases so these three cases we discuss in a next uh, lecture so here we stop our lecture thank you